If you've ever traveled overseas, you're probably already very familiar with the concept of an exchange rate. I mean, its definition is pretty intuitive. Exchange rate is simply the value of one country's currency in terms of another currency. Additionally, exchange rate policy is essentially a kind of special form of monetary policy, and though it differs quite a bit from the traditional monetary policy that we learn. And H2 Econs is rather obsessed with graphical illustrations, so let's start with showing how the equilibrium exchange rate is determined using a demand and supply diagram. Now, the diagram shows the demand and supply of Singapore dollars in the foreign exchange market or forex market. On the y-axis is exchange rate, which shows the price of Singapore or the Singapore Sing Sing dollars in another currency. In this case, USD. The x-axis is just quantity of Sing dollars. Now, by now we should all, we should all know that the equi equilibrium exchange rate is the point where the demand and supply curves intersect. But how do we explain why this happens? Let's say the exchange rate is above the equilibrium price. From the graph, you can see that there is a surplus of Sing dollars. This exerts a downward pressure on the external value of the Sing dollar in relation to the US dollar, causing the Sing dollar to depreciate against the US. And this happens because people are willing to give up more Sing dollars in exchange for each USD due to the surplus. So as the exchange rate of Sing dollar falls, quantity demanded for Sing dollars increases while the quantity supplied falls. So this continues until the equilibrium exchange rate is reached. Now, if the exchange rate were below the equilibrium price, the adjustment process is actually quite similar. Now, we see that, sh that here there's a shortage of Sing dollars, so people who are short of Sing dollars are willing to give up more USD in exchange for Sing dollars. This does, um, the exchange rate, the using, uh, Sing dollar just does exchanges for more USD and the exchange rate appreciates. You should also bear in mind the difference between the terms appreciate or depreciate and revalue or devalue. And the former refers to changes in the exchange rate of a currency due to free market forces, whilst the latter um, describe policy actions by a central bank or monetary authority of a nation to artificially change the exchange rate. Simply put, the, the government does not depreciate its currency, it devalues it. We'll learn more about this in subsequent lectures.